Have you ever encountered this problem of slow simulations? Or you want to improve the performance of your model? If yes, there are numerous ways such as simulation metadata, performance advisor, simulink profiler, and solar profiler to improve the performance of your simulation. However, in this video, we'll be specifically talking about solar profiler. And for all the others, we have provided the link in the description. Solar Profiler analyzes model for patterns that affected simulation and logs, zero crossing, solar exception, solar reset, and Jacobian computation. Having said that, let's check out an example to understand how Solar Profiler can improve the simulation performance. Here is an example of a double wishbone front wheel automotive suspension. The suspension is mounted on two platforms that can independently move up and down to simulate a road profile on each wheel. For a given pair of road profiles, the resultant roll and bounce of the chassis can be studied and the suspension parameters can be tuned for optimal performance. In this model, input is the road profile and output is chassis roll and bounce movement. Now let's try to study and improve the performance of the model using Solar Profiler. You can open the Solar Profiler either by clicking on the Solar at the down right corner or selecting the debug tab in the Simlink tool strip and going to the Solar Profiler. On the Solar Profiler, you have various sections to provide the information. As of now, we'll log these three sections and run the simulation. While the simulation is going on, the Solar Profiler collects the necessary information. You can also see the simulation progress over here. To save time, we'll directly jump to show the information generated by the Solar Profiler. As you can see on the left hand side, it shows the statistics of model information which provides information such as solar profiler and in this case it shows OD15S which is a variable solver. Then stiff information and also event information. The point to be noted here is that the simulation runtime and run to sim time ratio is too large which we would like to reduce. Further, you can see that there are few suggestions. It says that solar profiler detected dense regions in solar exception and zero crossing. It also provides you some suggestions to fix that, such as identifying the states. Now, to identify the states, you can make use of information provided by Zero Crossing Explorer and Simscape Results Explorer. In the Zero Crossing Explorer, you can see the event density for the hard stop block used for the right side test bit is too high. Also, if you zoom in, you can see that the wheel continuously bounces when it lands on the test bit, which we would like to reduce. Further, we can also have a look into various physical quantities of this block using the SimSkip Explorer. For example, as we can see, in the force plot, there is ringing at various sections and the magnitude of force spikes to a very large value. These information from the Zero Crossing Explorer and SimSkip Explorer gives us an indication that there are few parameters in the hard stop block which need to be tuned. So from here, you can directly go to the hard stop block or alternatively, there is a way to find the block that is causing the problem. So for that, we click on the zero crossing tab and then the number which will highlight the block that is forcing the solo to take small steps. In this case, it is a right test bed hard stop block. As we check out the parameters, we see that the stiffness is too high and hence we will lower down the values. Now let us see how reducing the stiffness values has improved the simulation performance. First, let us check out the zero crossing explorer. So as you can see that the event density has reduced. Also, the bouncing of the wheel while landing has reduced and there is only one bounce when it lands on the test bed. Further, in the SimSkip Explorer, we can also see that the ringing in the force of the hard stop block is negligible now. Having seen the improvements in the physical quantities and zero crossing density, the effect of improvement in the performance of the simulation is also seen in the solar profiler. We can see the reduction in the simulation runtime zero crossing number, total step size, and many other parameters. Now, since we have improved the performance of the model, let's check out other features of Solar Profiler. In the filter section, you can populate these by checking the boxes. Also, if you want to customize the rules for suggestions, you can change these percentage values, or you can also define your own rules by creating a MATLAB script. Further, you can also share this plot info in the form of a figure or a table. To conclude, this model had multiple blocks. So it might not be obvious to find the block that forces the solver to take smaller steps. The solver profiler can point you to which part of the model causes the solver to take small steps. And then you can use the knowledge of the system being modeled to make the engineering decisions. Like in this video, we analyzed the system and decided that the hard stop stiffness can be reduced to allow the solver to take larger steps and improve the simulation performance. Now what next? So we just saw that our model fell into this section and we improved the performance using Solar Profiler. Now in case your model falls under this section, 
which is using a fixed solver or time taken by each time step is too long for a variable solver model, then you can go ahead with a Simulink profiler. For more information about Simulink profiler, please check out the resources in the description. So we have seen how to use a solar profiler. Now it's your turn to improve the performance of your model. Thank you.